Welcome back everybody, Farming Simulator 17, here on Pleasant Valley 17, V3. Folks, how y'all doing? Y'all doing alright? That's wonderful, that's wonderful. Glad to hear it. Oh, oh, really? Oh man, I hate to hear that. But it's gonna be okay, because it's Friday, TGIF, right? Well, some of us it's just another day it's another working day folks here on Mr. Blue Farms we're doing a job for the neighbor the field 22 here you can see down there in the bottom left uh, we're still going to try to get 23, 24 and 22 folks and uh, as you can see top right corner I have the date and the time thing on uh, it's Wednesday October the 25th, 2017 at 10.34 a.m. Well, I might as well say 10.35. 10.35. There we go. Well, yep, as you can see right there on the bottom right, I'm planting wheat on field 22. And there goes the choo-choo train. Today, folks, we're going to, of course, try to get these three fields here. And we're going to also take a look at our pigs and show y'all we, we have some pig food made finally and also we're going to do the tree work we're going to try to get some trees up to uh, Kogan uh, factory there so we can start producing wood chips and planks for our pallets and we're going to need pallets to do some of the uh, smaller orchards and stuff like the peach trees, apple trees like that. Gotta get some apples made for our deal uh, subscriber. Uh, one more please. Uh, it consists of a rabbit. A little cute funny rabbit. I love it. Chan. Love it. He uh, had an apple and a banana. Uh, the gentleman. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming gentleman. I didn't see nothing but legs. But uh smelled like the rabbit smelled the apple and let them smell the banana and then brought them back about five feet and the rabbit went after the banana so uh, don't have no bananas on here so you're just going to have to take the apple at least I ain't seen no bananas yet and also we might raise a field carrot or two for the rabbit and also while wow, this thing is driving itself and I'm waiting patiently for it to get done. Uh, I got some notes here I wrote down. Uh, AMX Gamer Horror. Uh, Realism of Seasons. Uh, explain a little bit something on that. They do have a season mod out. But it's very, very difficult and time sinking. Uh, Y'all think my videos are boring now? <laughs> They're really boring in. But it's more. I probably won't stop on this. One. But but it makes it more realistic. I mean, very definitely yeah, stop. Uh, what I mean by well, let me get back straight here, and I'll be able to tell y'all. And uh, like say you make bales, okay? You done got your harvest done, and your grass is grown, and it, it, or been grown to the point where you need to cut the grass and make some bales, okay? You make some bales. Well, you're gonna have to get them inside store, uh, some storage somewhere, storage warehouse or something, because if it rains or snows on your bales, it makes them less. I really don't know exactly how it works, but I think it takes away, you know, in real life, they're going to uh, get, uh, what's it called, declay, I can't think of the word it's called, but it's breaks them down and then it's not good for cows and stuff, so the insurance goes out of it, 
but on the mod season, I believe it just takes away some of the leaders. You, know, you get 4,000 leaders and a fail, you probably have 3,500 when, uh, after the weather and stuff takes it over. So, it does add a lot of realism to the game. And uh, like your crops, if it snows on your crops, they're just withered. And you can't turn that off on season mod. I don't believe it. I mean, it will actually, it gives you a, a time frame to harvest and a time frame to plant. And if you miss those time frame or plant during those time frames, that's off. Come on, I'll say. There we go. Uh, it will wither your crops automatically. It, now, when you plant, the season to plant, you know, it, it'll give you a green box. You plant within that green box. You plant outside that box, either too early or too late of that green box. The plant will grow all the way to the last stage, and then it will wither on you automatically you can't turn it off so that'd be a whole year or whatever, a whole season worth of work done for nothing and yeah now it's like planting everything and then get ready to harvest you know it'll just wither on you but if you plant within your time frame and everything's good all the way up to the harvest. Don't get your harvest out before the green box turns, I think, yellow. If it turns yellow, you messed up. You're done with. The crop's withered. So I hope that answers some of your questions there, AMX. Sorry, AMX Gaming Whore. I didn't want to make sure you got your. The gaming thing player and folks these that I call out will be down below in the description so make sure you go check your channel out um, just trying to answer some of the folks questions here and also World War 3 gaming can corn be used for biofuel like in the real world some maps yes uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley does have a drop off. Uh, I don't know about this in here. I think the update uh, version 4 of this map, which I'm not going to download, they make a plant that you take corn to and it turns it into fuel. But reason why I'm not going to do that is I just got, you know, V3 set up where we can actually start farming and stuff and that's where a lot of that money comes from you know I sold everything out transferred yay here we go 5,000 almost 6,000 not bad not bad now let's see will we got just do that now currently no missions but look at this bar right here folks this green bar it's filled all the way up, so that's the lowest I can get that price. Now, every time we do a mission for somebody, this bar gets filled up, and when it's all the way full, that'll be the lowest price right here. So, I can probably get one or two more missions off of him, but I'm not. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take this price. And then all I have to do is maybe fertilize this field once or twice more and be done. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. That is my field now. And run on down here. Wait a minute. It says hump. We planted wheat. Oh man, let's see here. Let's back out. Uh, hump is right there. It sure is. So that's what I don't like about this game. So now we got hump. Boy, I hope I don't get a copyright or 
or not copyright, uh, what would it be? De demonetized for plant and hump? I forgot the number for it. 410 or something like that, or 210, I don't know. Some kind of odd code they use. But anyway, we have. We have wheat on 23, but ain't where I planted it. So, uh, what's on 24? Uh, sorghum? Sorghum, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and buy these two. Because he, uh, that guy owned both of these, so. Might well go ahead and. Oh, there's a sprayer. I didn't want that. But, uh, let's see here. Yep, 64000 for it. See, Richard Wright, it's all pegged out in green. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And we got wheat here, 42% ready. And uh, as you can see, Richard Wright owns it. 116391 So we're going to buy it. That's one of the reasons I was saying all that money for. And also, folks, I bought this. Bought this little guy for up here. And it's a pig food. Look at all this pig food we done made. Three, four, five. But when I bought this, I wish I did. We may be trading it in. Because I can't reach. I can reach the next shelf right there. But the other two shelves, I can't reach. I can't reach it. So we, uh, I'm turn my speed down here. Uh, two of the crops we're kind of low on. So we're going to get some over here. And this one right here is almost ready. 81%. So. Our pigs do need some food, so we're going to carry this out here to them. And we got to check their water, too. Before I turn the robot on, I'm going to check and see what level they are at real quick. Okay, as you can see, about three quarters of the way. And here we go. We'll raise it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. The top here be there. As you can see, it's going down. And there, oh, there comes a piggy. Piggy coming over getting some fresh. There comes, oh, I, I love that. I love it when you feed them, they come on it. Cool. As you can see, that one didn't even put a dent in it. And we're at 95 pigs. So, yeah. We're going to have to uh, keep making pig food. And our sheep are a little low. That won't be no problem. We'll probably do that in the next episode. Because we got to get some trees up, folks. And get some pallets made. Planks made and pallets. I'm going to park this right here, and I'm going to park it on this side of the belt. And uh, wait till that comes off the thing there and get it. So it's uh, got our BNO trains. I, I love playing with the horn sometimes. <laughs> How about ya? Yeah. Trying to see, you see, that's our field way over it. It's the greenest over there. So it's still growing good. Uh, let's see, we'll check that later. Uh, well, let's go ahead and check it real quick. Um, I'm going to have to go over to soil. Scroll in. Alright, this one's done. 
So it's the same blue as these, but we're going to have to spray 22 and 23 again. So I'll leave that there. We got enough fertilizer, hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember last time? I told you I could not find where it said the amount of trees. I was cutting a lot of trees for nothing, folks. Check this out right here. It's the question mark forward slash button right beside the right shift key. You hit it. It says license to cut trees right there at the bottom. 22 hours left to cut trees. I got 43 trees. Is that to go? Or let's let. Oops. I turned it off. 42 left. I ain't that something. All those trees I've been cutting wiped that whole forest out for no reason. I'm ashamed of myself, folks. But hey, at least now we know. It's in that menu right there. Which on your keyboard, you can hit the question mark key. And they'll give you the countdown. So I'm up here at the very top north, kind of in the center of the screen, you see that green dot flashing. So I'm not too far from Cohen. So yeah. So uh, I have found a little secret here. You get up. And then you gotta hit F1. Uh, right where it says A. Oh, that's not gonna let me do it. I need back up a little bit. So uh, it did it and didn't. All that and caught. Sometimes you can swing it back and forth and act like it's going to cut and it won't. And that counts as a tree that you cut, so. It's a good thing, bad thing. Uh, don't worry folks, I'm not going to cut all of these. i got about three minutes left. And I want to get the truck loaded. So that's going to be the next thing. But I just want to show y'all, there's the thing for the trees. Alright, uh, um, I have to use, let's see, I'll take my mouse, close that now. I'm uh, probably going to be a little laggy here. I got to get these trees up. As you can see, out across here. So. Oh, that ain't going to work. Go my first trailer, left side, yes. I will just start right here, hopefully. Get some of these up. Uh, B on the keyboard loads them. Uh, if you watch your thing there, you can hit B again to stop it so you can pull up. Then hit B. Sometimes you have to keep hitting it. Sometimes it don't want to do side ones. And then of course sometimes this happens. And I just do like that. A lot of logs. Go up here and get these off the highway. If you think about it, and when you're cutting them, you can actually take and cut all of them the right way and, and try to lay them all in the same way. That'll be less work on you later. But I wasn't thinking about it this time. I was just trying to. I'm on that. I know that ain't realistic, but I 
Come on. There we go. And if you got the muscle mod, you can take the last one here. Grab it. Scoot them all up. And let's jump back in the truck. Uh, yeah, we gotta hit B again. And we don't wanna get them too tall. Cause they'll roll off. Alright, I'm gonna switch to the back one. Let's see, I'm make sure that it's not auto load. Hop to the back one here. And hit B again. As you can see, it likes to stop after it eats log for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna change my route here. Which I've been cutting trees all over. So. Destroy the whole forest for no reason. But sometimes it be that way, folks. Um, switch sides. That tree again. Gonna get those up. Ease up a little bit here. Those gonna have to be turned, so I'm gonna get this other side real quick. Alright. I'm just gonna pull on up. Try and do this as quick as possible. Again. Come on, keep her out. Rubber cell. Go ahead and move up to the next one. I don't know why it stops after a couple. I guess so it won't load too many. Oh, stay on. All right, I'm gonna say that it's full. I'm gonna strap it. Make sure it don't auto load no more. Move to the next one. See, they're so scattered. I'm going to pull up to this pile over here so we can get some. Alright, I'm going to change that to the right side. Hit B. Take the dozer and push some closer to it, probably. Maybe it'll start, or y'all think. I was going to stop at 20 minutes, folks, but I guess I'm just going to have to take the logs up to the covenant at the next 
next uh, episode. I love this though. Isn't it? Forgot my chainsaw broke. Well, I have to get another chainsaw. And yes, folks, they do wear out from time to time, depending on what map you got. get back in the truck and see if we can load anymore and uh yeah I hit the wrong code I'm still on the third one B Not enough force to get it done, so maybe won't cause too much problem. There it goes, alright. Switch it to the right side and B. I have to pull up some more. So I'm going to get the double to push them up a little bit. We're almost in the lake here. We're going to get a little bit better, which we won't have to cut very many more trees from here. So that's a good thing. see how that will help. Alright, hit B again. Oh, it'll be tricky. See where I go through, try to get some fog from here. Might be all those little ones doing it. See, 
make sure it says okay well I might to try to pick some of them up manually here ah oh, come on There we go. Truck was on it. That's one reason. Ah. Maybe now it'll go. If they got any little branch or anything on them, they won't go. Those are purple. I'm trying to zig my way out about. And that's a mess. Anyway, folks, I'm just I'm, I'm over 30 minutes. I, I got a few more logs put on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. And uh, next time we'll get up to Colgate. Sorry about that, it took so long. That's the way farm life is a little bit. You know, sometimes it takes, it just goes right away, and sometimes it don't. I'm going to have to get a uh, front loader down here probably to help load these. I know it's an automatic wagon, supposed to be anyway, but some of them's. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, I got this boy. I see if we can do something with him a little bit faster. But I want to thank each and every one of y'all for uh, watching my videos and stuff. And also, don't forget to hit the link down below. Check out all the awesome YouTubers and stuff. Oh, now look at it, folks. It's going now. But uh, this is all the tree cutting here. I'm going to get all these logs up and we'll be back to normal business here. And then I got down at Robert's Farm that horse I wiped out. So. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, World War Three Gaming and AMX Gaming Horror. Is it Gaming Horror or Horror Gaming? Gaming Horror. AMX Gaming Horror. Sorry. Bro, I keep on getting it uh, backwards or whatever. But thank y'all for the questions and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to pick out some folks that does have questions and start answering them and stuff. Uh, at least I can do for y'all. Y'all are so wonderful. Now take it back. Y'all are awesome sauce. That's what y'all are. So folks, till next time. I'm sorry I'm out of time. Um. I don't know what I'm going to do about Friday, uh, Saturday yet. Saturday probably uh, plain and simple. Uh, it's by Stevie. Look him up on Facebook. If not, I'll try to put it down below in the description tomorrow episode. Uh, there'll probably be a, a I'm going to try to find me a, a voting thing where uh, y'all can vote on two different maps. And then I'm going to write that run for the week on the voting pick out a winner you know which which map y'all want me to do for a live stream and then hopefully by then I'll, I'll start streaming through the week uh, I just can't do it on weekends folks just too complicated with the kids and stuff uh, I did share two uh, things on Facebook about uh, uh, what's it called oh I forgot what it's called. Uh, Balancing Your Life with YouTube. It's by Roberto Blake. And uh, it, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Mate. Right, that's all I can do with flat trailers. I'll finally get the trailer loaded. So we all see that in the next episode. And uh, I gotta get that tree out of there. Come on. Come on out, buddy. 
There we go. Alright, my load is strapped down and ready for y'all, so until next time folks. Be long and be sitting here waiting on you. Next Friday folks. And I will see y'all tomorrow on a different video. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And don't forget to stay positive. That's a mouthful. Later folks. Bye.